Hemshin Board has confirmed that a high number of Nigerian soldiers were resigning voluntarily from service. The chairman of the military pension board, Abayomi Lawal, disclosed this when he appeared before the Senate for the defense of his agency's budget for 2021. The military boss said it is not voluntary retirement as putting the most pressure on the board's expenditure, stressing that the budget for 2021 is grossly inadequate. Lawal added that the high level of casualties in the northeast has also expanded the expenditure of the military pension board, hence the need for greater allocation. We know what is going on at the northeast, increased number of casualties happening there. So we are now having lost higher number of our personnel that are voluntarily retiring and some discharging from the service. But once they leave, it is the responsibility of the new chief pensions board to pay for the government benefits. We tell you what uh, the best we can do, what we cannot do, and then we will make the uh, leadership and maybe even see how best we can attend to the one day a bit is so critical, so important. We will make that it is, it is attended. Members of the Senate Committee promised to take critical steps to ensure that the board is repositioned for effective services. Similarly, the Chief of Naval Staff was present in the Senate Committee on Navy to defend the budget of the Nigerian Navy. It is worth mentioning that the overhead expenditure budget provision is inadequate in the face of rising costs and the enhanced increase of national balance. We would advise that if it is possible, Create, look for more venues, create more venues to generate more revenue for the country and also for yourselves. We know you are not established as a revenue generating agency. But since you are assisting the federal government, the federal government looks for money from all sources. The lawmakers say the budget proposals for the Navy will be critically scrutinized. Shadia Munisa, you